What's up everybody? Hey, it's Mr. C uh, and it is time for STEM with Mr. C and we are in my kitchen. Uh, we're gonna do a little kitchen science here um, and this is edible slime. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mr. C, we've already done that. Don't you remember? It's in that video. Uh, yeah, you know, the one where we kind of melted down gummy worms or gummy bears. Um, you know, added some stuff to it. We made it, it was actually really good. Uh, very sweet though, definitely um, hurt my teeth. Um, so yes, we already did that, but this is gonna be another kind of edible slime. Um, and you really only need a couple ingredients, one of them being marshmallows. Ah, uh, that's right, marshmallows. Uh, and parents, it is a fat-free food. So you have that going for you. Um, so anyway, let's, talk about our materials and then we'll all do my little lead in and make a few jokes, you know, like I usually do. Uh, so you need marshmallows, number one. You're gonna need some oil. Doesn't really matter, right? I'm using uh, Kirkland Signature 100% pure canola oil, when only the best will do. Uh, anyway, I just got it because it's really big. Uh, canola oil, vegetable oil's fine. Um, olive oil would even be fine. I may even try uh, one recipe with olive oil. I think it'd be fine. Uh, motor oil, don't want to use that. Don't use motor oil. Really stick to the edible oils, all right? Uh, oh. Coconut oil, you can do that too. Um, and then you're also gonna need some cornstarch. That's really it. That's really it for your ingredients or your materials. Um, you're gonna need a bowl, um, a stirring device of something. Some people use spoons. Uh, hey, maybe you want to use a butter knife. I don't know. Um, and then you're gonna need microwave. Um, and that's really going to be it. Now I'm going to be doing two kinds of recipes. Um, oh, optional stuff. Um, if you want to add some sprinkles in there or food coloring or flavorings, you can definitely do that. Speaking of flavorings, I did pick these up and I don't know where I picked them up from. Oh yeah, Big Lots. Um, and these are little mini marshmallows and they're orange, lemon, strawberry, and lime flavored marshmallows. <laughs> I don't know how good they're going to be. I'll try one right now. I'm, stra I, I'm assuming red is strawberry. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess that's strawberry. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be using some of these. And I'm actually going to be mixing lemon and lime. So I'm going to try and make a little, um, maybe some Sprite uh, edible slime. Uh, hey, pro tip out there. Um, if you ever just get lemon and lime juice and mix it together, hoping you're gonna get Sprite, don't do that. Uh, they put way more stuff in Sprite than just lemon and lime, uh, as they lead you to believe in the commercials. Don't believe the commercials. All right, anyway, that's all we're gonna do, and that's all we really need. Um, so hey, so I'm gonna bring my camera over here, uh, and we're gonna start making our edible slime. All right, everybody, so I've got everything separated, and I'm only gonna use about Six marshmallows, you really don't need a lot. This does make, I mean, again, eating six marshmallows, that, that's a lot. Um, so again, if you're making this for one person, six is fine. Um, and then as far as the mini marshmallows, I mean, it really, that covers up about the same. Um, but really, I just kind of eyeballed it and looked at it and said, yeah, that's about how many will be good. Um, all right, I'm gonna just go with that. Um, really, again, you're probably be like, wow, Arch, didn't you do this before? Yes, unfortunately, you know, with a lot of these, you know, kitchen science things, it really does kind of go to, I mean, unless you're doing exactly the amount that I, you know, I have the proportions for, um, it can be kind of difficult, right? So, um, I've done this with six giant marshmallows, like the really big ones. And uh, I don't think you guys need to be making that much edible slime. It's a lot. It's a lot of. It's a lot of sugar. Okay. So from here, so you're gonna take your oil, and you really only need about a table, or sorry, a teaspoon. And for those at home, if you are using anything like this, it should say one TSP. That light is really bright. Let's turn that off, huh? It'll say one TSP. It's really all you need right there. Um, so I'm just gonna do one. TSP, otherwise known as teaspoon of oil, a little more than that. And then I'm gonna put it in my other one. Beautiful, okay. Uh, you don't need to mix it around right now. Um, all we're gonna do next is microwave it. So you're gonna wanna microwave it for about 30 seconds, okay? Um, microwaving times will vary. 
Um, if you have a you know very powerful microwave, 30 might be a lot. Um, I've actually found that 30 to 45 seconds, anywhere in there is good. 30 is on the low end, 45 seconds, uh, and then you're gonna run the risk of actually like burning your marshmallows. So um, you wanna hit 40 seconds and you know, call it a day, that'll work too. Uh, I don't think you guys need to watch me microwave my marshmallows. So when we come back, um, I'll have taken my marshmallows out of the microwave and then we'll start stirring. All right, so you can see my marshmallows puffed up and I'm sure yours did too. And now I'm just gonna kind of mix them up a little bit. Um, you're gonna wanna use a spoon, right? Coming out of the microwave, it's gonna be really hot. Um, yeah, that's a pro tip from me to you. Things coming out of the microwave tend to get a little hot. You're gonna use another teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm going to just knock it in there and then you're just gonna stir again, all right? Stir it up until everything starts to mix together. And you're gonna notice um, it actually does start to glom together almost like slime. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna mix it again. Now, if you wanna add any extras in here, I'm actually gonna add some chocolate sprinkles. That just sounds good. Uh, a little bit of chocolate sprinkles. Now is gonna be the time to do it. There we go, beautiful. A little chocolate sprinkles in there. Um, and now I'm just gonna mix them up. Once this cools down, um, you can add uh, you can actually start doing this with your fingers. Now, if you find, um, you know, that it's not like slimy enough, you can always add a little bit more oil. If you find that it's too sticky and slimy, you can always add more uh, cornstarch, right? So this is where you can kind of make it how you want. So is this, eh, it's still hot, it's warm, it's hot, it's not gonna burn me. Um, so there we go, and I'm gonna keep, and there we go. So it's hot, right? And you're gonna see like, that's really sticky for me. Like I don't really wanna mess around with sticky stuff like that. And of course, as I'm doing that, I get my hands more and more sticky. Uh, so I need to call in the big guns here. Hey, AP. What? Can you come over here and uh, sprinkle some uh, cornstarch on my hands? You know, thank goodness I have my lab assistant. Oh, uh, there you go, sir. Thank you. Just a little bit, that's good, all right? Go right in there, awesome. So then you just put a little cornstarch, good, I'm good with that. Thank you, sir. Thank goodness he's here. All right, oh, what would I do without him? Um, and you'll notice that cornstarch actually keeps it from sticking. Um, and then, yeah, so it's still hot, but look at that. So I got really, look at that, already beautiful slime. Look at that. Oh, ho, oh, look at that stretchiness, right? Uh, and now if I want, and I'll show you what happens. So it's still a little sticky. Uh, and that's, again, you're not going to get away from that. I, I mean, unless you put a ton of corn cornstarch on it. Uh, because this is sugar, right? Sugar is sticky. So you're not going to get away from it. I'm not pouring a lot of oil. I'm just looking at it. A little drop or two, right? Nah, that's more than a drop. Um, and then, so if it gets too sticky or too, like, glommy, um, a little bit of oil works. And you'll notice, see, that works a lot better. Now it's a little more pliable. Hmm, that's a good word, pliable. Um, so now, here we go. Now I've got some slime, just like that. Um, you can always heat it up again if you want. You don't have to. Um, look at that. Oh, and I got some uh, chocolate bits in there. That's why it's all kind of dingy because the chocolate's kind of um, wearing off in there. But there you go. You got your slime right there. All right, taste test. Let's go ahead and take a look. Is this delicious? Let's see. All right, one, two, three. Mm. Oh, I got a chocolate sprinkle in there. Yeah, I mean, that's good. I mean, it's really, it's deceptively good. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't mind marshmallows. This is way better than marshmallows. I mean, wow, this is really good. Um, no, look at that. So it is, again, it's more sticky. Um, you can always put it in the microwave, warm it back up, stretch it out again. But there you go, there's some edible slime. Oh, there we go. There's a good stretch. Mm-mm-mm. There we go. I'm telling you, the chocolate sprinkle adds to some too. Oh, man. All right, there we go. Never bite. Man, that's good. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> I mean, I know it's just sugar, but... It's, it's like, it's not as like hard on my teeth as the other slime was. That was really good. Okay, I'm gonna try my, 
<laughs> my lemon lime marshmallows, my Sprite marshmallows, and then we'll see how that works. All right, there's my lemon lime. Uh, definitely a little different, a little smaller. Just gonna bunch together. The smell is like not very good. Um, it's more of just that artificial coloring and flavoring, I think. Uh, a little bit of cornstarch. All right, don't need a lot. There you go. And then, so that's about half a teaspoon. I'm gonna start off with that. So I know I said a teaspoon. You can always start off with half a teaspoon and then work your way up from there. Um, and there you go. So it's starting to glom together. There we go. So there's, I mean, good amount of slot. Ooh, yeah, that was good. So again, this is still hot for me to touch. I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, but yeah, that, ooh, look at that. That is cool. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. And stirring, stirring, stirring. So I definitely did put more lime uh, in here than I did lemon, but yeah, it's all right. Okay, and is it, yeah, it's hot, but not gonna burn me. Uh, I would wait a little bit longer. I mean, I waited a total of like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's hot. Uh, <laughs> so wait a little bit longer. Um, I don't mind if it's a little hot on me, um, but you know, some of you, some of you guys may want it to be a little bit cooler before you start like just picking it up and messing with it. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it's hot. It's all right though. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start mixing it. And so yeah, there is, de look at that. Ooh, yeah, that's a good slime right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, again, add some cornstarch to this. Um, cornstarch does a great job um, of really kind of binding to the sugar so it becomes less sticky. Um, there you go. I'm not gonna really do, I'm gonna actually just enjoy how sticky this is right now. Um, so again, it's a lot different. Uh, ooh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. So again, you can always add uh, some oil, right? If I really am concerned with it, the oil will also help. Uh, there we go, a little, that's a little much, but, right? And so that will actually get it even more kind of stretchy. Oh, look at that, beautiful. And there you go, so it's becoming less sticky now. Um, you'll notice as it cools, it does get a little less sticky and then you add a little oil um, and that will help as well. Cornstarch, if you wanna make like a big, you know, solid ball of it, um, that works too. But eh, there you go, there's your edible slime. All right, I gotta do the taste test. I'm not super excited about this, um, only because that smell that came out of there was not a good smell. It's that kind of artificial it's like French vanilla coffee, you know, on a coffee maker. It just, whoa, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, here we go. Little smell test. Smells more like marshmallows. I mean, I don't really taste anything. I mean, it's just marshmallows. It's not a real strong flavor. I mean, there's a maybe a hint of lime in there. Yeah, I mean nothing serious though. It's not. It's not. It does not taste like a sprite. Huh. Okay. There we go. All right. Well. Oh well. But that is a. Oh, there's the. Okay. Now I got the aftertaste of lemon. Look at that. That's a pretty. Look at that. That. It was pretty awesome. Look at that. Mess around with it. So this is fun too. I mean, one, it's just fun to play with your food, um, and two. There is some science involved, which we're actually gonna talk about right now. Hey everybody, so hopefully you had time to enjoy uh, your slime. I've got my original marshmallow with some chocolate sprinkles. Again, my favorite. Um, it was just really good. I mean, it almost tastes like, like a big hunk bar. Um, for those of you parents who are as old as me, where you go to Big Lots, you see them in the old timey store, they're, they're really good. Um, reminds me of that, kind of like a nougat or something. I don't know, but really good. Um, anyway, so let's talk about, those you don't need to hear my opinions on candy bars. Let's talk about the science behind what we did here. So marshmallows, let's talk about the mighty marshmallow. Well, how do you make marshmallows first of all? Well, I don't make them, but you can make them by just mixing sugar, gelatin, and then you just heat it until it boils. 
And then, once it's boiling, then you whip that mixture. Just whip it. I say whip it. Whip it good. And then it allows air bubbles to get inside, and that's why this is mostly air, right? And that's the reason why when you microwave a marshmallow, it expands. Because if you remember from our Dove, not Dove, oh, it's Ivory. I should have Dove right now. Ivory, remember what happens when you microwave ivory soap? It puffs up. It's because there's air in here, right? And you're exciting the air molecules and they start bouncing around and they puff up the marshmallow. All right, well, cool thing is when the marshmallow cools, the gelatin in here, more specifically the collagen. Now, if we remember collagen, if we remember from our, when we did our last, edible slime, right? We talked about what's in gummy worms and what is gelatin, and really that's just collagen, which is just connective tissue, uh, ligaments, tendons. Um, yeah, that's, man, we remember we talked about how they made it back in the old days, like 1600s, I think, and they, you know, boiled ho horse hooves and, yeah. Anyway, if that's totally grossed you out, I'm sorry, but hey, uh, just so you know, that is a source of protein, is uh, gelatin, so. Um, so what happens is when this cools, you get a sticky, puffy candy, but the whole structure, right? Like it basically just, it doesn't collapse. Like it just turn into like just water and sugar. So the collagen in here kind of binds everything together. And you just get this nice sticky mess, okay? So what happens, all the air is gone. You have the sticky mess. And so now what you can do is you can add cornstarch Right, which binds to the sugar, makes it less sticky. Or you can add canola oil or whatever oil you want. Um, and then so what happens is you change the viscosity. Great word there, I'm gonna define viscosity. But you change basically how runny or how thick it is um, by adding more of the dry stuff, cornstarch, um, you can also add powdered sugar, but I figured um, there's already enough sugar in these, so why add more sugar on top of that? Um, cornstarch works just fine. Um, so you add that, and it becomes nice a nice dough, dough. Add enough of it, it turns back into its solid state. So you can even see, I mean, this is basically a marshmallow. We've kind of collapsed, right? That's basically no air in there whatsoever. It's all squished down. Really good. Um, or you can start keep adding oil, and that will make it more, actually more runny, and it does not, it's not as viscous, right? A low viscosity, so it's kind of like a runny, sticky mess. Um, and that's really the science behind it. That's all we're doing is just kind of messing around with the structure of the marshmallow, which is just water, sugar, gelatin. That's all it is. And then we're just adding different things to it, different dry or wet ingredients to kind of mess around with that structure. That's all we're doing, we're moving the air as well. Okay, so let me know how that turned out, if you like that or not. Um, I'm telling you, it's delicious. There's just something about that marshmallow. It just tastes really good. Probably why I just had six marshmallows. Man, I better have like some real food right now. Uh, anyway, so leave me a comment, tell me how it went. Uh, hey, if you want, walk me through yours, or did you try any of these Kind of flavored uh, marshmallows. Again, I'm, I'm just not impressed. I mean, they just like marshmallows. Uh, they just kind of cool. I'm like, ah, dollar twenty-five. I'll, I'll try them out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them now. <laughs> I'm not making more slime with that. Um, again, other things you can add. The sprinkles. That actually was fun. That actually went well. Food coloring, if you want. Uh, I just, I don't like food coloring, especially when I mix it with my hands, because it tends to get on my hands, obviously. Uh, but then it doesn't like go away very easily. Um, or you can add different flavorings if you want. So if you want like a that vanilla marshmallow, and then what do I have? What's the first thing I see up here? You know, raspberry. Ooh, you know that would be fun, right? There's some actual real raspberry flavor. Oh yeah, that's raspberry. Uh, I also have pineapple and blueberry up there, so that could be something else you do. All right. Anyway, that's is all for me. That's is all. That's is all for. Wow, let's try that again. <clears throat> that is all for me. Wow, that must be the marshmallows talking. Uh, that's all for Mr. C, and I hope you enjoy this, this edible slime marshmallow edition, and I will see you guys next time for some more. Stand with me.
Bye, guys.